What is going on? What's happening? How you doing? This is Javan Johnson here, and I want to introduce a new video segment called Real Life Stories. That's right, Real Life Stories. Basically, what this will be is me telling stories about various things that happen in my life. Uh, some of them may be funny, some of them may be to relate to, I don't know. But uh, the first story I want to talk about is a time when I had stage fright. Ooh, stage fright. Some of you may have had this before. Uh, and basically, this was a time uh, about six years ago, and I was being involved in, with an event that was like a talent show. And a little background on me. Uh, me, I'm, I'm a Christian rapper, and I was the type of Christian rapper, and I still am this type of Christian rapper that will rap in Christian environments and non-Christian environments. And this particular time was a non-Christian environment in a hostile environment. You know, and I knew it could get hostile. I kind of knew what I was in for, but I felt like I was supposed to get involved in it. And so, um, you know, I began preparing for it and whatnot. And, you know, I went over my stuff and I, I had my stuff down pretty good and whatnot. And so, uh, the night of the thing, uh, I went over my, my, my sound check, did the sound check and whatnot. And uh, I want to fast forward to the actual time when it was getting close uh, for me to go on because this is the type of environment if people aren't feeling you, they will let you know. They will, they will boo you, they will yell stuff, you know, they may yell out profanities, whatever. And so, um, and this was like a big, pretty big uh, size uh, room that people were in, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking like hundreds of people. And so I, I'm, I'm uh, backstage and whatnot and it's getting closer to me and I was probably somewhere around the middle of the show. And this is once again, it's a talent show, so it's like you're doing one song, it's not like you're doing a set or anything like that. But uh, it's getting closer to me and this fear just hit me. I mean, I was already, before I even got involved in it, you know, it was already like, I was like, man, this is, this is, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. I kinda, you know, kinda had some fear. I did have some fear. <laughs> so, um, but once I actually got to the, to the actual time, it was getting closer to me. I mean, the crowd I was hearing, them people was getting booed and whatnot. It was just like, ooh, I really don't know, you know. And, and it was a point where, I mean, a fear hit me so tough where I was like, I don't want to do this no more. Like, literally. I was like, sitting down backstage, like, I don't want to do this anymore. And it was like, not just that night, I was like, I don't want to rap, dude. If this would it take the rap to get out here, I was thinking, I don't want to do this. I don't think I can do this, you know? And I mean, a fear just hit me. But but God was with me even through the midst of all of that. You know what I'm saying? He was with me, and he like he comforted me, you know? And, um, and so anyhow, my time came up, and they gave me the mic. And it was like, when I got the mic and I walked out on the stage, it was like, I was good. It was like, all the fear, I was just, I was good. All the fear that was there was like, it was gone. You know, and I walked out with the mic, and I said something like, what's up? And people was kind of just looking at me, and I started spitting. I started rapping hard, you know? and and at first, it was like people were just looking at me. You know, it was like silent. People was looking at me, and I was kind of just like, you know, I'm, I'm just spitting. I'm going at it. I'm going at it. Just, uh, you know, just how I rap. And and then as time went on, I started hearing like noise, but it was like good noise. It was like people was getting behind me, like okay, you know, and people was like cheering and stuff. And uh, you know, and then there was one part, particular part of the verse, one of the verses that I, I felt like when I got to that part, they were just going boom me. Cause on the inside, kind of thinking like, ooh, they might boo me right here, but they didn't. You know, say so it was like they got more hype with me, and so I learned so much from that. I grew up so much that that night as a man and as as a as a rapper, you know, as a as a recording artist, whatever you want to whatever how you want to call it. I grew up a lot that night, and that was like in the earlier days. And so I thank God for that. And so sometimes, you know, we may we may have experiences, things that God tells us to do that we may be fearful about, but you never know how God will work in that situation and so that helped me out and for some people who have seen me now I am you know I, I move around a lot you know I'm a real animated person and um you know and I thank God for, for breaking me out of my shell so never ever let stage fright hold you back you know pray to God to deliver you from it uh make sure that you always prepare you know make sure preparation is important so make sure you go over your stuff go over your stuff uh, uh, and then pray over it and then go out and do it you know what I'm saying we doing this to glorify the name of Jesus Christ make sure you always stay focused on what the task at hand is and God will get you through it. All right, praise God. Amen. Peace. You see what I'm seeing, you know just what I'm talking about. It stays on my mind, so I just gotta let it out.